So the purpose of this video is to introduce you to the concept of modules in Canvas. Um, modules are a wonderful organizational tool. They're actually just a container for all the other content that you create. Um, my favorite analogy to a module is um, to compare it to a file folder. Okay, You use that folder to store all the different things that you want your students to do. Um, and uh, like I said, by putting all of the content uh, that the students need in one place in the modules, um, it allows them to easily find what they need, in, oh, which is critical in an online course. Um, as far as modules go, there's a couple different ways you can organize them. Um, you can put them by topic or you can put them by week. Okay, so if um, each week you're doing a different topic, organize or uh, you have the work broken down into weeks. Weeks is a great way to organize it. Um, if you are doing a um, topic at a time, then um, but it might take more than a week, then uh, topics are a, a great way to organize it. Either way, um, it's very good when you are setting up your modules to give them a descriptive name. Okay, I've got two example modules here we're going to look at. The first one's called Welcome and Getting Started. And again, it's very obvious when the student clicks on it what they're going to find there. Um, the second one I called Week One, and then I gave it a concept, a title, Introduction to Online Teaching, and some dates. And those are just arbitrary for the purposes of this video. But when you're setting it up, Again, if you want the students to be able to go back and find things later, to revisit things, having a descriptive name above and beyond week one lets them do that. Now, um, the module itself is, uh, is described by the title and anything that you add to it appears below that. Um, what can you add to a module? Um, pretty much anything you create in Canvas. So you can add assignments, you can add quizzes. Here, let me kind of show you here. To add anything to a module, you're going to click plus. There's a drop down. So you can add assignments, quizzes, files, pages, discussions, a text header, which just lets you put a, some text, uh, you know, some sort of a banner or something in there, a link to a URL, and a link to an external tool. Um, so uh, and to add it, so you pick what you want to add, and then if you have one picked already, you can click on it. If you don't, you can click New Assignment. Either way is an okay way to get an assignment into um, Canvas. The assignments that are created, either in modules or before, all show up in the assignment section as well. Um, so, um, this, let's take a quick look at the um, Welcome and Getting Started module. This is actually a um, great way to start an online course and, and I highly recommend that you use um, some sort of module like this to start your course off. And I'll just sort of show you what I've gotten there. This is a page, okay, and uh, just some general information. It's got my picture, my contact information, um, a little introduction to the course, and a video um, made in Camtasia, uh, although there's other um, free tools out there. If you have a LR computer, you can get Camtasia installed on it by um, IT. And that that's it. It's just simple, straight to the point, um, get the students started. I have also included a, um, in this case, a PDF copy of the syllabus. Since I don't have a syllabus, since this isn't a real course, <clears throat> this is just a generic syllabus. Um, and you can, mo the nice thing with modules is you can navigate through them with the next button. So that gives the students easy way to go from um, task to task or um, item to item. Um, I have an in about your instructor page. I used a tool called Pictochart to create this. Yours wouldn't need to be this fancy. I like to do uh, creative things like this and I think it gives something the students something fun to see. Uh, it tells a little bit about my, myself, my philosophy on teaching um, is in actually it presented in this article but uh, we can click that and hit next and um, another popular thing to put in a welcome getting started module is kind of an icebreaker type of discussion where um, the student can introduce themselves to the rest of the class. So those are all some examples of different things that you can add to a module in addition to um, how to set up a welcome and getting started module. 
Uh, I'm going to click back here on modules for a second and take a look at week one. Um, we've got that again, you organize it based on um, what they're going to be doing that week and include everything that they need. Okay, so it could be a page, it could be a link, it could be an assignment, um, and it could be a quiz, it could be a discussion, any of those things. Okay, so that's just an idea of um, how to use modules. Um, there's also going to be videos in this series that talk about how to create pages, um, how to create uh, assignments, how to create quizzes, um, and how to um, pull that all together. So um, that's uh, a brief introduction to modules, and I will see you in the next video.